Alright guys, so Dumbo is going to be our little guinea pig for the video, right baby? She's going to be groomed and she very much needs it. So my boyfriend's going to be helping me with this. He's not going to be in the video, but I do recommend having at least one person helping you because it can be a little bit difficult, especially if you have squirmy rabbit like Dumbo. Okay, baby. So we'll put her on the, put her on the table. And you just hold it like that. So what you want to do is have a flat surface and basically just hold your rabbit nice and steady. And always have treats just to calm them down a little bit. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the brushing. Now basically I'm using the Hair Buster brush, the comb. And all you gotta do is follow the um, the hairline of your rabbit. So it's pretty easy and you wanna do it gently as well. And as you can tell, it takes out so much hair guys, which is why every bunny parent needs one of these. it's important to always groom your rabbit is because rabbit's digestive system is really sensitive and the hair can clog up your rabbit's GI tract and in case your rabbit some for some reason gets GI stasis and your rabbit isn't regularly groomed it will be hard for your rabbit to recover since the hair will be blocking the tract. That's why it's always recommended to brush your rabbit regularly. Right, now I got a close-up shot of Dumbo just because she is the star of the show and I want y'all to see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this just because this can be a stressful uh, situation for your rabbit. Most rabbits do not like being groomed and you kinda wanna be quick whenever you're doing this, which I'm not being at the moment. <laughs> And these are the nail clippers that I'm using for today. I got these from PetSmart. And always make sure that you get one specifically made for rabbits. All right. I'm telling you she's calm. So you guys, normally Dumbbell is very feisty, but um, Lately, she has been very, oh, very obedient, which I love. She's a, a really good girl, actually. I really love her. Um, I'm gonna zoom in pretty quickly, um, so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. But for this, same thing. Whenever you're brushing them, you want to make sure that you're doing it as quickly as you can. And I'm doing my best not to get close to the quick, so just in case she does move, nothing happens. This is what my vet gave us to clean her ears. It's really simple. You just get a cotton ball, put a little bit of the solution on it, And you grab the ear, and you're gonna kind of just rub it inside. Now, Dumbo's ears are fairly clean, so that's a good thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dumbo. <laughs> and then you can add a little bit on a cotton swab. Now, whenever you're doing this, you don't want to just stick the cotton swab in her ear just like you don't want to do that with human ears either you kind of just want to wiggle it around a little bit wow Dumbo I'm so proud of you baby that was stressful 
You deserve all of the treats in the world, mamas. <laughs>